Hi, I'm Kim Fillmore. And I'm Amanda Ashby. And welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be featuring some wonderful recipes and mixes from our mix and mill cookbook. First of all, we're going to start with our pancake and waffle mix. And this is one of my favorites. So good. It is wonderful and you can use it in so many ways. We're really going to be featuring how to make a mix and have it stored in your pantry so it's just easy to pull out and make a you know, last minute meals yeah, or to just camping. so you can see how easy it is. It will save you time and money. So it is really this book is a great resource. It is, and I really enjoyed having these mixes just to pull out last minute. Wonderful. Now we'll go ahead and start making a mix, and then we'll tell you a little bit how you can store it. So one thing we've noticed is it is really important to measure exactly when you're making up these mixes. So if you're a creative cooker, <laughs> it's not the time to be creative. Stick with Follow the plan. Follow the directions. Exactly. So we are using some of our dehydrated mixes here. We're also making this one, this recipe, a half and half whole wheat and white flour, but you can do however your family likes. Get what you need. Again, make sure you're measuring exact. Great thing about this, being able to make your own mix, especially like a pancake mix, they have those in the stores, but if you can make your own, you know what's in it, mm -hmm. and it allows you to save a lot of money. They've done some research on it, and making your own exactly. is a lot cheaper than the mixes they have available it in the is. stores. It is. And like you said, you know what's in it, you know it's good for you. And the shelf life is pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. So. You, Kind of have to play around with it depending on the area that you live in. Humidity. It will mm -hmm. differ, but. And try and keep it in a cool, dry Pretty much place. however long your store box mix is, this will keep the same. Exactly, so. exactly. Okay, well, see how easy that was? We'll just add a couple more things, some salt and baking powder and brown sugar, things you just got around your home, and mix that up. And then we are done with our mix. How easy is so that? So simple. I know, and then. And you one other thing with this is they have it so that you can do a mini mix, mm -hmm. which allows you to try the mix out. Exactly. So you can kind of see if your family likes it and also know how much you need to make. Right. And then you can make the larger mix, which allows you to be able to store it away and just pull it pull out, out when you whenever need you need it. How many, how much So this book is a great, great thing to have in the kitchen just to allow you to make life easier. It really does. Now, at this point, we could just put it in a Ziploc baggie and put it away, or we could make up a big full mix and put it in a number 10 can and store it that way. So there's lots of different options. Okay, well, say we've done our mix. We have it in pantry. It's a Saturday morning. We're ready to pull it out and add some water, and we are set to go. So easy. It really is. And so good. Mm-hmm. So we'll mix this up, and then we're going to make these pancakes using some product that we sell on the website. So check out our yeah, website for some really of these. really fun cooking gadgets. Exactly. Matt, do you want to pull those around? Yeah. We'll... We have these fun little shapes that you can find online. You can use these for eggs or pancakes. Mm -hmm. And then we also have a wonderful nonstick crepe pan, which off you can also use for pancakes. Exactly. Some really nice tools. Makes up wonderfully. Okay, I think we're ready. This is oh, one of Kim's my favorite. favorite tools. So let favorite. her share about that. Okay, this is um, a pancake dispenser. Though I've really used it for so many other things as well, like filling up my um, my popsicle molds. So it can be for so many very fun versatile. Things. And it makes making pancakes so less, so much less messy because you've always got pancake batter strewn all over. And this is just a clean. Let me slide this way. over here. Now these molds are a lot of fun. Just spray them with some spray, non-stick spray and fill them up. And this dispenser makes it easy so you're not making a lot of mess. I'll let Amanda go ahead and show her that. While these are cooking, um, we also are going to make our own maple syrup. So I think this is just wonderful because you can keep it stored in your fridge and, and you can make it up whenever you're out. And what's okay. pancakes without syrup, you know? Exactly, exactly. Who doesn't love maple syrup? That's right. One of the things I love is we are going to be using our, um, our flavorings. These are our powder flavorings that you can use in place of a liquid extract. We have lots of variety of them, but today we're going to be using a maple and a vanilla. And these are great because they don't cook out. They stay true to their flavor. Very wonderful and handy to use. Okay, so we... Just in a saucepan, combine your sugars and your flavorings, add some water, let it come to a boil on your stove, and then to thicken, you can put it in your fridge and, and let it thicken up and, 
and it just makes it really convenient to have And again, stored. saving money. That's always something that families should be doing. Exactly. You know, we all have to do that with the economy these days. So saving money right. is always such a nice thing to be able to do. It really is. And it's just, it's just very handy. All these things you have in your kitchen and, and you're ready to go. You don't have to go visit the grocery store. That's right. And we have our plate already. Now, these are so fun to use for holidays. Yeah, we've got a birthdays. star you can use 4th of July. Of July. Heart you can use pretty much any time you want to tell someone that you love and them. Especially Valentine's These Day. These flowers, what girl wouldn't love? A little oh, flower no, pancake. Oh, another birthday. Surprise them with a fun surprise. Makes them feel special. Kids love things. We go on vacations and do all those types of things, so it's not just like everyday life. And what an easy way and to be able to like they're in a restaurant That's with these right. fancy foods <laughs> being served. Well, good. Okay, and we have we already have some syrup already to go. And look, within minutes we had our breakfast done, and we even made up a mix, so it'd be even faster if That's you had it right. all in your pantry. All right. Well, enjoy a wonderful, healthy breakfast.